of the football to come. While several national teams were fighting... Colourful, exciting and full of fireworks, it was, the organisers hope, a sign of the football to come. While several national teams were fighting it out on the pitch for a chance to play in next year's European Championship, one of the co-hosts, Ukraine, was unveiling its showcase stadium. Renovated at an estimated cost of almost half a billion dollars, the Olympiski Stadium in Kiev will hold the final of Euro 2012, as well as three group matches and a quarter-final. The refurbishment of the 60,000-seater complex was beset with delays and controversy, something which critics have said is true of much of the preparations and infrastructure in Ukraine and their co-hosts Poland. But the country's president, who was jeered as he spoke, dismissed such criticisms. The reconstruction and opening of this stadium demonstrates to the whole world that we can have business in the Ukraine. The star attraction in Kiev was the Colombian pop singer Shakira, who lit up last year's World Cup opening ceremony in South Africa. The Ukrainian authorities hope the event shows they are ready to host one of the most prestigious events in international football. With some fans already booking their tickets, they will want the rest of the tournament to go just as smoothly. Will Grant, BBC News.